Jackson. They've done it in Lincoln, which arguably is much harder than doing it here at Jenison on their home turf. So, I mean, just being home, you know, and of course you have experience with this. Does being home change any of that? It does because, you know, Michigan is probably one of the toughest places to play. Um, when I was at Illinois, we played both, you know, in the Big Ten. We played some games in the Pac-12. The Big Ten volleyball, those crowds, they beat, in my opinion, any other Power Five crowd. Now, don't send me any hate mail. I know y'all Florida, all, you know, all those big schools, but I really feel Nebraska is one of the toughest places to play. So I think remaining calm and staying in their game is going to help Michigan State tremendously. Nicklin Haynes with the serve. And we're underway here in East Lansing. Samantha McLean goes for the pass, and it's going to go fly away. And that'll get things rolling for the Cornhuskers. Yeah, I think right now, you talk to any coach, and they're always going to say the serve pass game, the serve pass game. And that's going to be huge for Michigan State is staying calm and passing. And if they have a tough server, just putting the ball on the 10-foot line. And serve goes far and away, and it'll be point to Michigan State. So uh, error on the smart side, and then error on the Nebraska side. Selena Shkalar will get her first serve of the evening. There we go, under a wing with Cornhuskers. Far side, Jamie Cox a little tip. Schwartz had a big swing there, and Cornhuskers on a little return. Diving save by Norris. It'll be a free ball sent by Jamie Cox. Up down the front line, far side, big swing off the deflection and a kill for Jazz Sweet. That was a great dig by Norris. That was a nice roll shot by Sweet. I mean, that ball just literally went just over the net. And that was a great dig by Norris to allow the team to at least put the ball over in Nebraska's side and just reset with their, uh, with their defense. The first time around, Jazz Sweet has 16 kills on the court, led all players with five blocks. Jamie Cox with this pass. Norris with a big swing, and she'll get a kill. That's what we need to see from Norris. Norris, it, I mean, anywhere she's on the court, they need to be putting the ball to her. Back row, front row, right side, left side. She's going to really anchor this offense and allow some other seams to open up so that those hitters as well can get their kills. Norris with the serve. Rally back on the... Husker side, another little tip in the front line. This time, Cupic does the same thing. And that's a great, that's a great smart play. The ball was a little too tight in that out of system set, and she just went up with her hand. It was obvious she was going to tip, but she wasn't trying to tip and go over so that uh, Michigan State can keep playing. She just used her hand to go off the block, and that's a really tough ball to defend against. Kenzie Knuckles Libero will get her first serve of the evening. The freshman, Jimmy Cox, the Initial touch, a quick set down, and Nia Gross couldn't get there in time. It'll be a free ball for Michigan State. I'm surprised that Sun didn't swing on that one. That was a great out of system ball. Cabin Geely tries to go for it, tries to call for a touch, and she will get a touch. Point Michigan State. Wow, that was surprising. I didn't see that one. <laughs> well, Biaba was calling for it, so yeah. there, we'll see if there's a nice look on the net cam. I can't even tell on that one. That was close. That's a tough angle. That was close, but ties it back up at three, y'all. Libero, Jamie Cox with the first serve. It's been going back and forth between the two sides. A big swing and an easy dig by Norris. Monks with her first touch of the evening. Far side swing off a little deflection, and Kubik does the same thing for her second kill of the evening. Yeah, right now we're seeing a great lateral movement by Michigan State's middle blocker, getting some good touches. But that ball, we see Kubik, she is literally going off the hand. I mean, she's aiming for those hands because you can't defend against that. I mean, that's what you see a lot from outside hitters, especially when you're you know, going up against a team like Michigan State that makes 2.72 blocks per set. Yep. Third in the Big Ten is Biapa Cabin Gailey tries to go for a dig or a kill, excuse me. Nice dig there a moment ago by Sun. The Jamie Cox has a nice dig on her own side. Schwartz, the left hand, and it's going to land inside. Lauren Schwartz with her first kill of the evening. Yeah, there's just enough seam between the middle and the outside blocker for her to get that ball that was just out of Sun's range. Go look at that replay here. Nice set by Shklar and Schwartz just yep. right through that, that seam. So that for Sun, she just when she sees a seam like that, just stepping into it. Audrey Alford, the tr grad transfer from uh, Oklahoma. Ooh. Up down the front line as it take a deflection off of Spartan, it does. 
So for Michigan State's blocking, they're going to have to be paying attention, knowing that if the ball is tight, she's going to try and use their hands. And so that's a key of where the blockers are watching the hitter and watching where her hand's doing. And if they see you're trying to you know, use her hand to go up, just pull your hands down because she's going up there purposely trying to use the hand off the block. And she's done it now two, three times. Cubic with the kill a moment ago and now with the serve. Cox is going to set it up here for a little sling by Johnson. Far side. Try Sun that time. Norris now for freebie from Johnson up. They almost missed handled by Nebraska, but down in front. Schwartz with the touch. It's a nice rally developing between the two sides. From the back line, it's going to go out. Does it take a touch? No, it doesn't. Point Michigan State. Yeah, so this up ref is just letting them play, and I like that because we're allowing to see rallies continue going. And was that a lift or a double? Yeah, you could say so, but they didn't end up getting the point. That, you know, it did not help them get the point. Captain Samantha McLean with her first serve of the evening. Five all right now at Jenison. It's been going, going back and forth a fair free ball for Michigan Street. Audrey all for the dig. J.B. Cox has set it up here for Norris. Off the hands, and what a nice save there by Haynes. Locked up in the front, shared by Mox, Monks and Johnson. will try to get another block, but it lands just a hair away of the line and lands favorably for the Cornhuskers. It does, you know, and right now I think the thing is as long as the up ref doesn't call double on Michigan State's side, I say let them play. Like this is what the game is. This is what Big Ten volleyball is. You're going to see some movement on the ball, and that's completely fine. Let the teams keep playing. And we're seeing this interesting sun um, in terms of out of system balls. She's kind of free balling it. So I'm wondering why, because those are just giving easy balls for Michigan State to attack. The claim for the first touch. Norris with a swing, and she'll find the donut. Just enough. A little bit off speed. Sometimes that works better than a hard hit. So Meredith Norris with that kill. Tying back up at six. A nice look from the court. That height, that touch, that landing. So Emma Monks, the true freshman from Assumption High School, will take the serve. It's a setter kill. Haynes with it. Yeah, and that ball, I mean, that should be picked up. It wasn't hard enough down, and the the, um, the setter for Michigan State saw it. She just needs to keep moving through that ball. I mean, that's a ball that you pick up because you don't want the setter to start getting a lot of kills because now it means that the blockers are going to be worried about her and not about the hitters. Audrey Alford sets it up. Far side for Johnson, and Molly Johnson will get her first kill of the evening. The right sides are finding some good seams. And the outsides are finding some nice roll, roll shots and tips that are working. So it really is, okay, now that we're seeing that the right side is getting kills, let's kind of keep putting that ball there because then the middle blocker will start leaning that way and then put it outside, get some nice holes. A couple worse for Kathy George to Molly Johnson as she gets subbed out. Big swing, it's going to land in, and it'll be point to the Cornhuskers. And once again, Cubic being active, her third kill of the evening already. Cox with the pass. Schwartz with a, a curler, found by a couple Cornhuskers. Diving save by McLean, and we'll try it again. It's back to the Husker side from the far side of the court. McLean, what a diving save by her. That's a great up. Oh, that's a great up. And so that's when you want your outside here. She should be off the net, ready to swing on that. That's a great dig. Lefty swing found by Jamie Cox. We'll try it again. Schwartz, no. So the far side, Kubik. Schlor will find the ball. Cox will set it up now for Schwartz with a left hand, and Lewis Schwartz makes it land, and it's all tied back up at eight all. Yep, that's a good rally. Just everybody swinging away. You know, Nebraska has a great defense, so tips and rolls are not always going to go down. You have to really try to find the hole with the, a hard, aggressive swing. A good look there, and took a deflection off the front line. Been a pretty quiet Genesis so far this evening. Back far oh, outside, nice. the stuffed up in the front line by Gross and Schwartz. That was a great block. How uh, many how many blocks are they averaging a they, match? They average they average 2.72 blocks per set. So we're talking about nine ish per match, mm -hmm. assuming it's a th three set match. More if that another block in the front line is a big swing. But Schwarenbach, that time it's 
by Kubik, got denied again. Far side this time and found by the Spartans. From the back line, Norris and dig by Hames. Little floater and found by Shkalar. We'll try the Spartan sign. Kevin Geely. Let this one run through. Gets the block, but it's going to land out. So adjusted when needed by Kubik. Yeah, I mean, they're, both sides are swinging away. Um, I really like the fact that everyone is ready to play defense. We saw that Sweet kind of did a little tip roll shot. Mill blocker for Michigan State was there ready to pick it up. So everyone is prepared. Both setters are digging up the ball nice and high. This is what Big Ten Volleyball is about. Jamie Cox now to Gross. And Gross fires it a little too far. It'll go over to the side of the Cornhuskers. Well, I mean, that's a great swing by middle. You know, that was a out of system ball, high. Middles sometimes have tough, uh, tough time swinging on those. The fact that she had a nice swing, give it to her again. Spartans on the move. Gross this time will find a better angle and make it land for her team. That was a nice slide. That one's a little quicker, so it's tougher for the mill blocker to close on because it's such a short um, set as opposed to other slides, which are from the middle, you know, all the way to Antana. This one was shorter in distance and it's just difficult to get four hands on. Cox with the serve. Ooh. Up front and a nice read by Schwartz for Michigan State I don't know. to get the lead. I'm not sure what the Nebraska middle is upset about. I mean, the ball was in the plane. Schwartz is like nine feet tall. I would expect her to do that. I mean, that's an aggressive move. That it was The ball was completely on her side. Yes. I expect her to do that. And I'm surprised, actually, that she didn't go up to also block the ball and challenge. Oh, Jamie Cox with the service ace. That's a great serve. I mean, right now we're seeing the servers are being very smart. You know, they're going really deep on Sun. They're going to that very difficult kind of zone five, which is that mm -hmm. left side corner. They're doing a great job right now of being tactical with their serving. Cox will serve it now. Once again, it's going to be a swing of the front line. One other block by Michigan State. Schwartz with the swing off the front line of the Cornhuskers. Tried again. Ooh. Near side sweet this time is stuffed up by the company of the true freshmen. I'm just, that ball, their out system balls right now are just a little too tight on Nebraska's side. And I'm just wondering why just, you know, and it's all black. But that man is just strategic and tactical and knows how to win not only games but championships. Cornhuskers will take that time out to their sign. They'll take a nice easy kill from themselves. John Cook, ABC Hall of Fame coach, inducted back in 2017. Yeah, I don't think you can be inducted like two or three more times. I mean, he's pretty much that good. He consistently, <laughs> you know, maybe change his first name and then just keep inducting him into the Hall of Fame. He's one of the four, uh, one of four active coaches right now too to have seven over 700 career wins. So, That's John Cook is stirring some stuff up at the Cornhuskers. That's mind-boggling. Over 700. I mean, if you think about, you get. 28 to 30 kills a game or um, matches a season. That's impressive. Schwartz with the kill that time, and I mean it is it is impressive. Uh, it, it is impressive. You know, I mean, over 900 with Nebraska itself is something else too. I mean, this system is working, and there's a reason why Nebraska is so successful year after year after year after year. Slide attempt just wide. Servants with the attempt that time. I mean, you know, right now we're seeing Michigan State, they are absolutely going after Nebraska serving-wise. And so the thing about it is that when you get a lead on a team like this, understand that they are going to come back pretty just fiery and be prepared for that. Sometimes when you get a lead, you're like, oh, they're not going to come back. No, Nebraska will come back. Audrey Offer with the service error a moment ago. Makes the score line 15-12 as Kubik will go for the serve. North the initial pass. Oh, wow. He called that. So that's interesting because he's let a, let a lot of stuff go with Nebraska. So that's a kind of hairy of a call because there are some things on Nebraska. So you want, if you're a referee, you have to set that tone. Mm -hmm. And to me, he set the tone that he was going to let them play. And so to call that, it's kind of like, okay, now what's he going to start doing with this trend? First two touches call that we've seen tonight. Biaba Cabin Gailey tries to go for the swing and Knuckles will find the dig and it's a miscue by Kubik. Which is, it was smart though, that side is open whenever you're coming from the back row. That little corner shot, just because most times everyone's pulled back deeper, especially if you have three blockers. So that was a very smart move, it just didn't go down. 
McLean with the serve. Spartans up by three against number six ranked Nebraska. I want to stress that, and that's a nice gimme for Hames. So that one, she was pretty much middle front. That's the one where middle blocker for Michigan State needs to be shifted over about half a foot so she's in front of that arm and that she can go up and be ready to block. That is 100% her responsibility. So that was Monks a moment ago. She'll so cover that up. Desenberger with the serve. 16-14. Michigan State. Service error by Desenberger and Sparns will get the point. And that's tough, especially if you come in just as a serving specialist. Like, that's your whole goal is to come in and serve. So while you want to challenge the other team, you don't want to try and thread the needle and go right down the line. Monks, meanwhile, is coming off a game against Northwestern. She has a service error of herself for uh, six kills and seven blocks, both of her season bests, and, uh, which will also make it her career best so far. She'll check out of the game. Seven blocks. That's pretty nice. Some teams don't even get seven blocks in the match. Oh, yeah, if you're talking about one big asset of Michigan State, it's the blocking. The, the, the front line is ridiculous. Yes. It's it's something. Norris with the pass. Oh, great big job. kill by Naya Gross, set up by Alfred with the quick set. Dan Spartans will get the point back. So Michigan State up by three against Nebraska. And that's just what you have to do. When you have that lead, you just want to keep siding out. Sklar with the serve. Go and play up the middle off the tape, and the Spartans will get a nice ball to work with here. Norris with the little, nice little light ball. Cornhuskers will respond, yes, sweet. Oh. No, excuse me, that was Sun, and Sun will make it land to her favorability. And that's a ball that, as a blocker, you have to look up. When the touch happens, you have to look up. You don't want to look down. You don't want to kind of look around. You have to immediately look up, because those balls will be up there. Sun will get the serve. McLean with the first touch. Schlar now to Schwartz. Not too has that big of a hassle for Nebraska. Dig by McLean. Oh. A miscue there by Schlar. And it'll be point to Nebraska. Nebraska inching up. And you know, one of the things that with, with the, the trends made with Michigan State is that they can keep up with this, you know, these top teams for about 15, 20 points per set, and then they kind of start hurting themselves a little bit. Yeah. So they gotta they gotta watch an eye on that. Well, just not make those unfortunate mistakes. Those are the type of mistakes that you can't make um, because they're easy, unavoidable ones. Schwartz the swing, and then it'll go back to the Spartan side after the block. Let's try again. So the tip behind the block is closed. So a great tip for them would be to kind of go towards the left front. That's going to be a smart tip. Ross trying to do a little hefty move that time, blocked up front. Huskers on their own side, swing by Kubik. They'll take a touch of the Spartans, and it's all tied back up at 18 all, and you're starting to see why Nebraska's ranked sixth in the nation right now. Yeah, you know, the thing about them, if you watch them, they're just very steady. They got down by three or four. You didn't see them jump up and, you know, start trying to do stuff that wasn't normally part of the game plan. They just like, stayed steady and allowed the other team um, to make the mistakes. Norris gets denied the front line and hits the line. Kathy George will take a timeout there after she didn't like what she saw from her team the past couple of points. And Jen, what does Michigan State have to? She is snazzy with her green on, <laughs> let me tell you. But she just is a great role model. And I just appreciate that of what she's helping do to do to develop young women. And she's a great strategic coach. The things that she is capable of doing and what she's done with Michigan State has been phenomenal to watch. We're going to get a green card from Coach Kathy George because Norris was abruptly saying that the Cornhuskers touched it. And, of course, Kathy's going to use number one of two allocated. Uh, so I wish it was. Isn't football that if you use it and you win it, you get it back? Yeah. I wish that we did that with volleyball because it's unfortunate that you win it, but then you also lose it. Yeah. So I am thinking that they need to make a rule. If anyone from Pavo is listening, that if the green card is used <laughs> and won, Oh, I don't. I, I don't can't see tell. it. I. What do you see, Jen? I I can't tell. On that's that. gonna be a better. Yeah, no, that's gonna be tough. I mean, those are the angles the officials are working with right now. Oh, that. Th ooh. It has to be clear to overturn it. Th and that's. I think that's the biggest thing. Whenever, whenever it comes to the challenge, it has to be clear and concise. Yes, you have to be able to see it and not be like, well, I think they did it. I'm gonna say, ooh. Um, 
because my reputation's on this. You know, I'm like, what, Form 1? So, yeah. So I think that they're going to go with there was no touch. And meanwhile, we look at the attack error numbers right now. Nebraska with five, Michigan State with two. Down ref says that there's not enough evidence, and it'll go to the Nebraska sign. There's not enough video evidence. So I won that. So I'm five and one now. Five Sorry. and one. That's right. That's right. If you don't know, Jen and I have been keeping a track on uh, every challenge, and if Jen makes the right call here on the air before the officials do. So it's a little snazzy game we play. <laughs> Sparns trying to get one back after that challenge. Sweet. Yes. So here's the difference that I'm seeing, is that out of the system balls, Nebraska's swinging hard. And what I'm seeing from Michigan State is they're kind of playing it safe. They don't want to make the errors, so they're kind of rolling it, tipping it. you got to swing hard, and you got to swing just high with power. Be aggressive on those out-of-system balls because swinging is what's going to get you scores. They're gonna, you're going to win with that. Some with the little short serve. Norris. Cross court goes out of play. Cornhuskers the point, 20. 218 all of a sudden. You look at the hit percentage right now. Michigan State's hitting 219 versus Cornhusker 200. So Michigan State's staying close. That aspect. Some to serve. McLean, the pass. Naya Gross and Naya Gross and native for Louisiana. That's a great, I mean, that's a hard cut. And we need we see that where um, the Nebraska setter is playing defense, she's going to have to come up a little forward because Gross is cutting that ball, I mean, almost on the 10-foot line. Is she just, you, you really have to be pushed outside the block on that one. I mean, those are great angles. I'd keep giving her the ball out of system. I would have her swinging on that slide because she's scoring a ton on that. Norris with the serve. Almost a chillingly quiet genesis right is. now. Big swing, big kill. Give that credit to Cubic. It has been pretty quiet in here. I think that's the thing. I mean, I want to see the numbers. I can almost probably say at least 3,000 or so. I can't even tell. I mean, I'm, I'm really bad but at it's, judging that. But it's, it's been surprisingly, and George's jungle is packed today, too. Yeah. So. Mm. Norris with the receive error, and... It'll set up set point number one. So one point Michigan State was up by three. It's interesting also Nebraska hasn't been that loud. Nebraska usually is really loud. I mean, their fans, whenever you go to the national championship match, even if they're not playing in it, they are loud. Norris, aim back to Norris as she made the receiver a moment ago. Kevin Gila will get a deflection off, but not enough. Sweet trying to finish it. No Norris with the dig. Kevin Gila will try again, and nice diving. Dig by Knuckles. Far side to try to end it all. Nope. Rally Schwartz off the front line. Michigan State side. Kevin Geely will get the kill and set number one will continue. I appreciate the, the swing on that one. Some people will try and play it back to do pass that kill, but she's just swinging on it. I appreciate that. So now Mux checks in for Michigan State. The two freshmen middle blocker. There's a nice look at that kill a moment ago. Cox the serve. It's a little short one. Sweet. Nice Cox play. the diving save. Oh, that you gotta swing on that one. You got right now you're down, you gotta swing. Because that will happen. It's as I know it's out of system. I know that her body might be put in a little funky of a position. She's just gotta still kind of swing to make it a little tougher. Because that was really too easy for them. Stiverance will get the kill for the corn huskers. As Nebraska takes a set, set number one in a I don't want to say dominant fashion, but they definitely showcase why they're, once again, ranked sixth in the nation. They were just calm. I mean, they're out there, you know, and they're just calm. Their one is to be continued. And I think that's straight up. And I think that's what you were saying, John, a moment ago, is just the fact of Nebraska, you know, con continuing and really finishing what they had last year, the brink of what they had last year. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. I mean, the Big Ten season, or the Big Ten schedule, the Pac-12 schedule, everyone's beating each other up. So it's going to be really interesting to see what happens um, once we get into tournament play. Signs have flipped and Michigan State served a moment ago. Slide attempt and nice dig by Schlar. Jamie Cox was forced to bobble it up and a uh, swing by Schwartz. Still trying to get the first point of the set and it'll go to the favor of Nebraska with a big swing from backcourt. 
I mean, Nebraska runs that really fast back row attack, and that's really tough to get onto because it's coming so fast, especially if you have a middle attack coming and a bunch of other movement. So Cornhuskers with Haynes with the serve. And their rotation one. Gross! Does it take a tip? Yes, it does. Michigan saved the point. So one all. Louisiana native. Getting some work in today. Good angle. Yeah, it must have caught the side of the libero playing defense. Norris with the serve. Big swing, big dig by Cox. That's a great job. Gross trying to drop in the donut, but was saved by Sweet. Jamie, uh, excuse me, Norris with the dig that time. Schwartz with the left hand from the right side. Nope. You can't tip on this team. You got to swing hard and high. Like, that's the thing. You have to be just swinging away. Kevin Geely got deflection off, but it was an easy return. And it eventually it'll result in the kill by the Cornhuskers to extend the lead once again to 2-1. And that's a great offensive threat through that, from that center. I mean, she was smart. Everyone's still moving. Dumped right into the middle of the court. Defense was not prepared. Uh, and your blockers aren't prepared because they're worried about their hitters and not the back row pr attack. So Sparrow is trying to respond back. And they do. Naya Gross will book herself another kill. I just appreciate, as a middle, she's doing some great swings on some high balls. That's Gross. Fifth, our fifth kill, excuse me, of the evening. Leads all players on the Spartans' side. Maddie Kubik has seven right now for the Cornhuskers. Down the middle, it's a one-two setup, and it's executed perfectly. Well, with that one, she just went through the block. You know, the, the middle blocker, she did not have her hands up fast. She needs to get her hands fast and over the net. Even if it's not high, still low and tight, so that the ball's not going through you. Knuckles with the serve. Norris pops it up. Oh, that's a great And what a swing and what a kill that's by Kevin Gilly. That's a great job. I mean, that was a, a, that's what you want to see on Alice's ball. High, hard, and deep. I mean, that ball, they were not prepared for it. Went right into the corner. Smart, smart swing. It was a far side corner, a near side corner, excuse me. That landed on, side up at three all. So far, similar to set number one in the early skirts, this thing. Alford gets the ball over from the back line, deflected off the front line, but it's going to go away and out of play for a Cornhusker point. So what we're seeing from the block is that they're not getting their hands over fast enough and pushing it down. Like, that's what you need to do, is you need to have your hands over there low and tight, and we're seeing that they're high enough to get used or the ball to go through them. Megan Miller serving for... The Huskers. Johnson. Nice dig found by Knuckles. Trying near side. It's going to fly away. No, they're calling it a tip from the up ref. And it'll be points to Nebraska. She's just getting great touches off the block. Cubic. I think, yeah, that's eighth kill for Cubic. Yep, that's clear, definite contact off of Monk's hands. Offer sets it up for Kevin Geely, and she'll get one back and respond back to the Nebraska threat. McLean checks in, the defensive specialist for Michigan State. Yeah, but Kevin Geely already has uh, two Big Ten Freshman of the Week awards under her belt. September 26th and October 23rd as that one goes off of Norris and point back to the Nebraska side and kill by Stiverins. We're seeing that this slide is just being very successful for both um, both sides. It, again, it's just very hard to defend against you, someone that's running against you, shuffling. McLean with the initial pass. Monks, well, she, uh, she thought she got it for a second there. No, it didn't. Then it's going to go through the front line, through the seam, and land the Cornhusker side. I mean, that's a great swing by the setter. She went up there aggressive. Kind of like, I'm going to get this swing regardless if there's a block there or not. And I appreciate that from her. So now, Cubic will go back for the serve. McClain somehow handles it. Norris, it's going to be a one-touch back to Michigan State sign. Alford sets it up. Now Norris again off the block, a solo stuff. 
attempt. Now Johnson trying to linger it over. Johnson does get the ball over. And then it's going to be mishandled by the Cornhuskers and point to Michigan State. So it's been a back and forth affair. You're like, like it's Michigan State gave a couple points away, but it's just been going back and forth between the two sides. So. It really has been. I mean, both sides are being pretty aggressive, you know, with their blocking and their movement. It's just the type of game that you want to see happen. With the slide attempt that time, McLean finds the dig. Norris. A two-touch from the setter affair, and then now Norris will try it again, and back and forth rally from the back line, a little floater, found by Johnson. Gross gets denied in the front line. I think it hit the tape too. Sun and uh, Stiverens, excuse me, that time. Yeah, I think just, you know, as a setter, really watching and paying attention to where um, the blockers, I mean, she had two blockers on her at that point because the right side was completely out of it, and to recognize that and to go away from it. Densberger with the serve. McLean with the first pass. Norris. She's been able to respond by the Cornhuskers. Denied by the front line oh. of the block, but it's going to go out of play. It was a touch, though, on the net for Nebraska, so it's actually going to be the Michigan State ball. So, I guess luck and defense so, helped out Michigan State that time. Sometimes you got to have luck. I'm okay with that. There's that yep. clear net contact, yep. You gotta put the brakes on, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying to hope that it's not seen. But that time it was found. Some was just trying to hold up and stay up and be like, you know, <laughs> play it off. But Michigan State will get one back. Shklar of the serve. Off the setter's hands. It's gonna go out. No contact made by Michigan State. Michigan State will get one back. Haynes has done that multiple times tonight. Most of it's been, well, this time it just didn't work out for her. Yeah, I mean, they're just trying to go off the block, which is smart. Flew away, but made contact off the block, and be points to the Cornhuskers. I think it's the same thing that Wisconsin did to Michigan State a couple, I want to say when, when Wisconsin was in town, too. It was just starting to hit high and getting that off the fingertips. Yep. And that's what you have to do. The ball doesn't have to be slammed down the temper line. Those touches off the block will actually frustrate your blockers more than the balls that are hitting the ground. Shklar sets it up for Gross for a 1-2 quick hit, but does not work out. Instead, it's a Schwarnbach block solo stuff. Yeah, I mean, that she was right there ready to go over the net. That's, again, the setter needs to watch and know that there's a full commitment on that middle blocker and go to a pin. 10-7 Cornhusker, set number two. McLean with the pass. Norris, no, sure, then she'll save the own ball. Cox will get the ball now for Schwartz. No, back to the Cornhusker side. Sun off the front line and Schlar will get the ball. Norris again gets denied in the front line by Sun. And Schwarmbach. It's a solid block. I mean, they, they, the, the hitters are going to have to find ways to score. Right now, they're in rotation one. It's a little difficult. Um, we have the lefty Schwartz outside, and Norris you know, isn't in the place where she wants to be, but they've got to find a way to score. Straight up and down by the front line of the Cornhuskers and made it work. Norris popped back up to Michigan State sign, tried again. Norris again gets denied in the front. And it'll be a Cornhusker point. And they're doing a great job. I mean, they the center had to go around for the two. Could it, they, she got dug, and so they're trying. Until that kill a moment ago. Just that far side corner, or the near side corner, excuse me, has been working for Michigan State. And I think well, we just have to continue attacking that. Well, that's just a, a tough corner to defend. One, two, and it's off the touch. Cornhuskers with the point. Back in the rally, Schwarmbach will get another one under her belt. And now we're seeing Nebraska, they're just like a, a fine-tuned automobile right now. They're just going through it, and you know, even though we saw them kind of maybe be down by a few points in the first set, they're coming through and saying, that was a mistake. Schklar sets it up for Gross, and it'll be Cornhusker points, and doesn't make any contact off a Nebraska player. So Lexi Sun. To serve. You take a look at the replay. Yeah, I did not make any contact. Short ball. 
Gross finds it. Sklar sets it up then. Forced a little over by Schwartz. Far side sweet and it'll be an easy one for Cox. Does Schwartz make it land? She does. Line just calls it. It's in. It hits the line and Michigan State will get one back. Yeah, center was just behind the block enough. When you have a lefty, if there's an open spot that she can see open, then that's where you need to be as a defender. Right now you look at the kill counter overall for the match. Nebraska has 24, Michigan State has 19, so. I mean, that's about right. I mean, it's, yeah. it's five kill difference, and right now it's a six point differential. Ooh, Jazz yeah, Sweet comes in, swinging. It's a great swing. It's, it is, it's a, it's a wonderful swing. Um, and I guess that's the way you gotta respond, right? It tell, is. tell your opponent. Well, I mean, she had a huge seam right there. Um, Bianca, especially, we want her to kind of jump in. If there's a, a lefty with a hole, just jump in and get some hands on it. Good eye by Michigan State side as Knuckles flies that away. Spiders will get one back, 16-10 now. Johnson checks back in for Michigan State. Also, Maggie Midget with her first minutes this evening here at Jenison. Midget averages 4.45 assists per set when she gets playing action as her serve just goes flying away, so just evens all back up. Yeah, that, you're coming in down. We gotta figure out how to get that start. So now we're, we're seeing a new setter in here. Maybe we can get some type of offense going. You gotta remember that Michigan State, you know, is, is playing volleyball at a really high level. Big swing by Kevin Gile, and she'll get the point as it lands in for the Cornhuskers. But you gotta remember that, you know, you move Michigan State with, with, with the record, they, wait, with the 14 and 10 record they have, it doesn't that's like look great per se with number wise. But you gotta remember that they're playing against really high tier teams. Yeah, I mean, the Big Ten is, is the tough, one of the toughest conferences. And essentially, what happens if you can go 500 in the Big Ten, you're more than likely gonna go to the tournament because the caliber is that high. Right now, they're on that path. They're 5 and 9 in the Big Ten right now, which is still good for ninth in the Big Ten. Mm -hmm. It is. If they can somehow get it evened up, they'll, they should be able to get kind of a bubble spot. Oh, wow. Out of play, and it's a service error followed by another service error. So. We just missed the serve left and right. Oh, yeah. Now Monks will go serve. The Kentucky native. She gets it over and in play. Here we go. Some volleyball to play now. Off the block of the front line. Could it be handed by Gross? Goes out of play. Points to the Cornhuskers. 19-12, Nebraska with the lead. Jamie Cox will now come in for Monks. Couple substitutions on the Cornhuskers side. And taking the serve now will be Drunick. Oh, well, we're getting a new setter, give her some time. I mean, that's kind of what you do in these games. If you have a nice lead, definitely give her some time to learn the game, playing against a Big Ten opponent. Midget. Johnson gets denied in the front line. Schwarmbach and Sun. That time. There, it's, it's, you're gonna look at the replay. And it's it's just right. It's it's just yeah, conventional, the ball's right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, the ball's a little bit inside, and so as a hitter, you gotta just make a little better of a decision, especially when you have a big block. Norris the swing, but found by the Cornhuskers. Sun with the swing takes a deflection, but easily found by Midget. Johnson, no, try it again from the back line this time. It's gonna be short. It's a lucky break for Michigan State. Cubic makes an attack error. It's 2013. Spartans down by seven. We're gonna have a handful of subs. Schlar checks in. Schwartz checks in for Michigan State. Stiverin checks in for the Cornhuskers as well as Haynes. So. Four sums to pair for each sign. Schlarf to serve again. I mean, you're, you're 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 down by seven if you're Michigan State, right? You lost your first set, not in the fashion they wanted to, but there has to be a way that you could pump some energy into your team, yeah. right? It just it really feels dead right now in here. I mean, we, the crowd's really not saying much, and then we have you know like the team. There just needs to be something to get that energy because you really draw off. Um, a loud, exciting crowd. 
Big swing, big block, but it's landed out once again. Sometimes it's the power that matters. And they're getting right there. It's just putting it back and pushed his own six. 21-13 now checking in his sweet once again to the lineup. So there's a good replay of that. Just look, you just look at the power and it's sometimes the block's there like you said, Jen, but the power is enough to deflect it out of play. Yep. Haynes. McClain with the first touch once again. Norris tries to float it in. Couldn't. Some with the toss up and Cox will get the ball. Schwartz will take a couple tips and Michigan State will get one. It's a good touch. Nice high swing for her. I mean the advantage of Lauren Schwartz is it's the left hand. Yep. Right. So now when you can have a right side of the left hand, it's basically like adding another opposite, you know, uh, outside hitter. Yes. So, I mean, that's the advantage of Lauren Schwartz, and when she can play well or get those, you know, a couple kills for you, that, that might stir something up for your team. Hopefully it does. Norse. Cornhusker is going to return down the middle. It's going to land out, and Michigan State will get that one good read by Jamie Cox that time. Well, and that was great because she was trying to get away from the block because there were two blockers there, and she ended up going low too wide. And that's what you want to see. When you put hands in front of anyone, they're going to try and go away from them. Schwarmbach with the attack error a moment ago. Norris with the serve. 21-15 now. Fearful for the women's in red. Jamie Cox saves it. No, they're going to... Line just says it hit the ground. Jamie Cox is saying she got the ball. But how much of it? That's always the yes, question. Is it your whole hand? Is it a pinky finger? Looks like not enough. They're not going to replay it. So I... Mm. Mm. That's interesting. Point goes to Corbin Husker's side, 22-15. Norris the first touch. Kalar diving to save it. Now Kevin Gile will have enough angle on it for the ball to go out of play after a swing for Spartan Point, 22-16 now. It's all these late stages of the set, especially when you're down, it's tough to... Yeah. Try to answer back, but that's a good swing by Bianca. It is, and you start to see more people. That's It's interesting. They'll be, you know, it'll be 24 17, and then you start seeing them get some fire in them. Swing, it hits off of Norris's hand, so. So that ball was tight, and that's where you want the blocker to surround the ball. You don't want it with a tight set like that, you don't want to allow the, um, the blocker. See, that tight, Schwartz should have just jumped in front and surrounded that ball. It was cubic for the big swing that time, and now Knuckles will go. To serve, the little barrel for Nebraska. Big swing by beyond but Kevin Geely couldn't make it land. Try to get tries to float her. Good response by the Cornhuskers. Big swing from the back line and Jamie Cox with the dig. Oh, that's a great force. Right. Attempt by Monks a moment ago. Sparns will try it again. Oh. The free ball back in the corn huskers mishandle it so in the end uh, she got break, it break for michigan state she got the touch yes 23 17 now as midget checks in as well as johnson for michigan state six point differential set number two spars lost the differential five in set one a big powerful serve, but then it just a good kill. And really, I would say the handle really defensively of Michigan State that time. Yeah, it was. I mean, that was a great play by the Nebraska setter. The ball was like a bullet at her, just using one hand just to get it up. And I like that the, the Nebraska middle still went with it because sometimes you'll see a middle that will stop. And with that one, she still went up, which was able to get her the kill. Cornhuskers are coming off a sweep of Iowa, so for them, it'll be nice to get a sweep here against Michigan State. And Get on the road once again. Quick touch try by Monks, but denied. Saved by Midget. Now Kevin Gilly got it for Johnson, and Johnson gets enough contact power and deflection off for Sparks to get the point. Great defensive play by both sides. Really keeping the ball up high. That's the key. Many times people will get touched, but it needs to be high enough so that someone else can get under it and play it. 24-18 now if set point number two for the Corn Huskers. We're asking an opportunity to finish it here. They do it in the most awkward fashion with Stiverance. So 
25-18. I think everyone expected her to dump it except for her, and that's why you kind of saw Stiverance on one foot kind of hoppy. And it was like the little hoppy, yeah. twisted turn type of thing here, but Michigan State, Nebraska, finished two off. And she has the power, the aggression, the height to really come through and put the team on her back. So set number three will be underway. We'll see if Meredith Norris and her team can do more, but I want to go back to, you know, what I was talking about a second ago. Lauren Schwartz will book a kill. Michigan State will go on top to begin set number three. But I want to go back. Michigan State's eight of their ten losses are to ABC top 25 uh, teams. We're talking about Penn State twice, the five, fifth, uh, number five and number eight at the time. Wisconsin, number six. Minnesota, number seven. Nebraska, number five when they played Nebraska earlier. Number 19, Illinois. Number 21, Tennessee. So, right, you really have two non-conference losses, one of them being Maryland. I mean, it's, this has been a tough season. That's a great cut. I mean, that one, it doesn't have to be hard, but that was off speed. Just a nice cut because she did see two, you know, two sol solid blockers in front of her. Shklar just shy of that time and point to the Cornhusker side. <laughs> of course, a week from today, Michigan State's back home. They're playing Michigan in the annual GM Jenison game. Monks kind of flickers a little bit over. That should be an inter entertaining one, Jen. That Genesis, is. should be packed and loud for that one. It always is whenever you're playing that rival. Cabin Gilly flies it away. Uh, you know, Michigan State's also do, doing this home and away series right now, right? They're home and then they go away and then they're home and they go away. As take another quick look. Yeah. At that one, so they're I believe they're 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 over to the Badgers this weekend. Oh wow. So they hosted Wisconsin uh, a couple weeks ago and. Now they're over to Wisconsin. They got another tough opponent as Lauren Schwartz will book another one. She gives a little quick look to Lena Schlar. Two kills for her already in set number three. And she seems to be on fire. She gets back in, give her the ball. Two all right now, so same tight with the Cornhusker company. And look at it, just flying by by Lauren Schwartz. Midget. Far side swing, takes a deflection away from Jamie Cox. But she'll go diving a couple feet away from her. Sometimes find the open pockets, right? Making that last minute decision and twisting and turning. Yeah. That time just taking the right deflection off. Yeah, I mean, you know, she's, as we're seeing, that's outside goes for the block. So the block has to be more intentful and getting her hands over the net faster. Johnson with the first pass. Now Monks will drop it in the donut. Good eye by the two freshmen. And that was a, a very smart move. I mean, she had two big blockers in front of her just to tip it right over. This is a little too far for the wing players to play, and the middle back is, d is a little deeper. So that's just a tough ball, but very smart from her. Another look at that nice touch by Monks. As Gibbs will serve it here for Michigan State. Back to that zone five, and what a save there by Hames. Up, down, and Johnson had to flicker that ball over. Sweet. Great job by Haynes. She just, I mean, kept that ball in play. She, <laughs> she kind of stands there super nonchalant, but she just makes some exceptional plays. And she shakes it off like it's nothing, too. Yeah. <laughs> so that time the ball was mishandled by Midget. As there's a quick look at that replay there. Gibbs could not handle the ball well, and it'll be a service ace to the Cornhusker side. And we'll flex the sun. 5-3 Nebraska, set number three. East Lansing, Michigan. We thank you for all of you guys who are tuning in here on BTM Plus, and if you're a Cornhusker fan that couldn't make it out, glad you're supporting your team as that ball goes away for a service error. So this is making sense why um, Hames the Nebraska setter is just doing some phenomenal stuff. Um, she led her school, which was coached by her mother, to five state championships in her career. Five, you ask? Because she played varsity as an eighth grader. Get out of here with Jeez. that. That's redonkulous. S service error by Monks. What? Redonkulous? R redonkulous, you said? But I said redonkulous. With that, we have a stoppage on the court. Okay, so they're looking. Oh, there's a challenge. There's on a it. challenge on the court. I didn't see what the challenge was. Mm -hmm. 
Wonder if we have a look at it on our end of things. Interesting. But for for you for you, you you have volleyball experience at the premier level, right? And for those for, for those of you listening that don't know, could you, could you, can you tell our, our our audience a little bit about yourself, Jen? And yeah, I coached college for 15 years. Um, some highlights: I coached at Illinois when we played for a national championship back in 2011. So had some fun things. So I think oh, a touch on the libero. The touch on the lid. See if we can get a different angle on that one. That angle was it gets a 50-50 call. I mean, you might as well challenge it, right? At this point, I mean, why it, not? It, it's it's a third set, right? And this, you know, Michigan State, realistically speaking, for them, it, it'll it'll be a win for them if they can take a, you know, at least a set off of Nebraska. Yep. And at least continue that four set series. And you never know what can happen, right? That's that, that's 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 a great part of volleyball is you never know what can happen on the court. At any time. Yeah, I mean, this could be the thing that changes the tide. One thing I will tell you. Kronowski's over here having a great time dancing to Lizzo. I'm I was, I was about, that this I was, is her favorite person. I was about to say, but here's, here's, a, here's a quick look at John Cook and what he's done since 2000. Four national titles, nine NCAA semifinal pairs, nine Big 12 cha uh, championships, and three Big 10 championships. Goodness me. I mean, he's, he's doing phenomenal things at Nebraska. I mean, you know, it's a good thing he's a Hall of Famer because if he's not, I would have inducted him right now. <laughs> <laughs> right this second. So results in the Cornhusker favor after the challenge. Oh, Gross just missed that ball completely. Yeah, that almost seemed like she didn't think it was her set. So she kind of did that halfway swing and was like, oh, that was mine. Because it just went past her. And I think it was kind of a thing of just it wasn't fast enough with your, her hand up, but who knows. Gibbs with the initial touch and Johnson will get contact off the corn Oscar. And Michigan State gets one back. Yeah, we're seeing the right side of Michigan State really get some kills. And so I tell the setter just we need to overload that right side. We need to make sure that we are setting slides. We are just getting that right side involved as much as possible. Because we're seeing that, especially Sun, is kind of a little bit too far in, which is allowing the, to get the kill uh, down the line. On the move, off the net, it goes off Lexi Sun's hands, and Michigan stay within one now to Nebraska. You're making that little smirk of the, mm, I like what I see. Yeah, this is, you know, this is what they have to do, is just kind of each time go on some two and three point runs. Sun will try again, this time over the net, but Jamie Cox makes a diving save. Schwartz, no, gets denied, and could it be found by a company, Schlar and Gibbs. So it'll go back to the Cornhusker sign. Densberger with the surf. A look quick replay of that. It's a good block. The front line. Sklar off for Gross, and Gross just had to get the ball over any way, shape, or form. Sun. Went out. Is there a tip? No, no tip no. call, and it's gonna be a Michigan State point. There's no touch. But I mean, we're seeing the a little too tight on the assistant ball. You know, she tried to do a, a good play of going down the line. Quick replay look of that one. Yeah, there's no touch. Good call by the Dom ref right there a moment ago. Norris with the serve. Try again from the outside. Deflected up. I'm that sorts that's 100 percent her ball she looks up she needs to go and find it and then mm. just go for it a ball like that you look up find it and go for it schwartz couldn't find the ball like he said and it results in a cornhusker point one thing i do want to mention though Alyssa kronowski had we, we we haven't seen i think she checked in once for the match and that's really all we've seen from michigan state so loss of her impacting this team at all for, team at all and by team i mean michigan state is, Kevin Gailey gets denied in the front line. Yeah, that the ball just a little too low for where she was. Um, I think right now it's just going to be critical that we get that ball off the net a little bit more so that she has some room to swing. 
because when she started this set, I believe she had no errors. And so she's had um, the one that she hit out through left side and then that one. Schwartz is leading all Spartans right now with eight kills. Make that nine kills now for Lauren Schwartz. Well, she hits at just such a high angle. And that's always tough to defend of when you have these, especially a lefty hit at a really a high angle. It's well, you get tough. a six foot five lefty making swings like that. That's tough. Yeah. Doesn't matter how good of a team you are. Jamie Cox with the serve. <laughs> Once again, it's zone five. Down the middle, Cox just couldn't handle it though, so. Another great execution by the Nebraska side. Well, that Nebraska middle, I mean, she's just hitting really. She's, she, we've seen her cutting to the right, cutting to the left, kind of doing a roll shot. I mean, she's really showing that she has a selection of um, methods to attack the ball. Sun now has seven kills for the night. It was just short, hit the net. Point to Michigan State. Midget comes back in. Molly Johnson comes back in. Schwartz having a quick talk with Kathy George as she subbed out. Take a quick look at the replay there. I think it was just a, yeah, I think she just hit it a little awkwardly here. Big, powerful swing by Midget. There, it's, it broke the plane. Nebraska broke the plane, and Michigan State will get another one. Yep. So now, once again, we're back to this one-point differential. So. Yep, that was a back row block by the setter. Whenever you see two hands go up, if there's one hand that goes over the net, um, that's a different call, but that one's a back row block. Oh, nice swing. Service ace by, guess what, Maggie Midget. Then it's tied back up. That was a great, great serve. Oh, that was pretty. That was pretty. A little bit of life here into Jensen. This time she tries a little too much, perhaps. It's the net and back to the Nebraska side. Good, good for her. Good for, good for Maggie to get an ace under her belt. 12 11. Knuckles. With the serve. George's jungle. A little bit of life. Cabin Geely. Far side now. Takes a couple touches off, mishandled by Michigan State, point to Nebraska. If the out, the pin hitters for Michigan State were to tip where the the um, defender was coming from, AKA left, deep left front or deep right front, they could get that kill because right now, um, Nebraska is doing a great job of coming under getting those short tips. Cabin Geely will get enough contact off the Cornhuskers for a kill of her own, 13-12, led by Nebraska. Gibbs checks in now for Beyond the Cabin Geely. Gibbs coming in as a serving specialist uh, in the DS. And Lauren Gibbs with the service ace. 13 all. Right now, Nebraska's passing has not been um, what it usually is. I mean, we're seeing that they're getting a lot of ones, which would be only one option, and we see Kayla Banworth. I mean, all-American, I think she's Olympian. She's like, yeah, we got to get this together. So, because um, you're really anchored by your serve receive. Somehow saved by Michigan State. Back to the side of the Cornhuskers. Cubic, Jamie Cox, the dig. They just sets up for Monks. Oh, did not land. Sweet. Nope, Great. Jamie Cox again. Great dig. Norris gets denied. It's going to deflect off the a Nebraska Cornhusker out of play. And Michigan State will gain the lead again great fight going on. I mean, we've seen Cox just having a wide range and just digging everything around her and more. Jamie Cox had two digs just in that rally a moment ago. Mm -hmm. Oh. Barely saved by the Cornhuskers. Then Jamie Cox would dig once again of her own. Monks and Emma Monks! Michigan State combining some points. It's a three-point scoring run. Timeout called. But John Cook and company. Lee Johnson, the Ann Arbor native. Woo. I need to see that replay because that ball, I think, hit the ground before the outside landed. That is what you want to see. Those Goodness me. That, that, that was a block right there. That velocity was something. And that was responded by equally hard by the Cornhuskers. That 
is what you want to let's, see. Let's just, go, let's just go back to that Molly Johnson block, though. I mean, that was something. I mean, that's a ball you really can't defend against. That ball went straight down with pace. So Nebraska will get one back after a big block by Michigan State. Let's see if the Spartans can respond back. Norris in. Cornhusker far side, and it's going to go out. Oh, we got a touch. We're going to, yep, we got a touch, it looks like. So the touch is what's going to give the point back to Nebraska. Looks like the down ref saw. I didn't see it in that replay, but got a better angle right by the net. A little floater in. Gibbs will get the first touch. Monks and Emma oh, Monks. Oh, there we go. Right back at it. Emma Monks. Kill number three for her this evening. Man, she's doing some amazing stuff as a true freshman. 17-15, set number three. Free ball, Ooh. Michigan State. Monks with a dig of her own. Norris. Not just a dig. Monks chased that ball down to get a great play on that. Cubic. What a save by Gibbs in the front line. They're oh. fighting for it. And it goes in the favor of Stiverance. So the key if you want to win joust is you have to essentially go last. Because if you try and go up first, you, you get beat. You want to kind of touch that ball last and then push it not into the middle, but you want to push it away from the middle. You never want to try and go power for power. So go up second and then push off the hands. Norris took the block off. Oh, you got to swing on that. Johnson forced to. You got to swing on that. Little touch, slide attempt. It's going to land in. Line judge calls that in. 17 all now. Look at the replay there. Yeah, that's a light right call. It's a right call. We're right on the line. Slide by Gross. Oh, we got a net. That's all you need. There's a net call against the Corn Oscars. The second now of this match. And Michigan State will get, take the gimme. 18-17 tight. Kathy George up on her feet back and forth. Take a look at the replay. Yeah, that's a net. Little bit of context, all you need for that. <laughs> Just a tad bit. Far side, Sun lands in. That's a great, I mean, line shot. That one, was it? Split the needle. Straight down that far side line. Look at that. I mean, that one it, I mean, went right by. That's why if you're playing defense on the line, you have to have your foot on the line. Those few inches matter tremendously. Densberger of the serve, 18 all right now. Schwartz. Down the middle. Took a hand touch and could it be found by Spartan. The lead goes back to the Cornhuskers, 19-18 now. And just the tide changes just like that. It's, you know, within the volleyball community, there's always a conversation about should we block back row attacks and should we not? Because what we tend to see is that when you put your hands up, it's a lot easier for deflections versus you have to try and get the kill on three stable defenders back there. Free. So I think it's always just a great conversation point. Cornhuskers get a free ball and then they keep attacking Schlar. And now Kathy George is going to take a timeout for herself and the team to reorganize. But let's just, it's, it's a two point. You just got to kind of start chipping away point by point to get ahead and then hopefully moving forward to win this set. Go look on the net cam and look at the current set right now. Michigan State's hitting 320 this set versus 189 as a match overall. So definitely doing better making contact with the ball and making them land. I mean, that's huge. 320, I mean, compared to the previous sets, this is this is great. Nebraska, even better, 360 right yeah. now. Contact with the ball. Slide attack by Cornhuskers. Takes a tip. And it'll be back to Nebraska point 21-19. Jazz Sweet checks in now once again for the Cornhuskers. And to the serve is Haynes. Both sides still have a timeout remaining here in this set. Schlar up for Kevin Gilly, and she'll get it, the true freshman. 21-20. Oh, how special would it be for Michigan State if they could grab 
a set here. This would be tremendous. Cornhuskers trying to finish this match. Michigan State trying to extend it. Trying to aim for zone five as Cox has been doing. This time it goes a little too far. 22-20 now. I mean, when you when you try and you know just get it right on that person, that's what's going to happen. I think you're down two. Let's get this side out. We just got to push hard. Sun with the serve. Norris the first. Oh. Touch is Clark will get a kill. Tricky, tricky. I like that. Lena, I was waiting for that. Lena Clark always does that once. Throughout a match, and she did it. But the smarts, perhaps you did the most. Well, I think with that, you need to have that setter kind of get that dump because as we saw the base of the left and right backs were really a little too far. That's what you want to see. Midget with the serve. Far side floater takes a couple tables. And Corn Huskers with point 23-21 now. I mean, that was a great roll shot. Two point differential. Knuckles of the serve. Cox will find the first pass. Monks and Emma Monks! Talk about true freshmen stepping up. They're stepping up big time right now. She's doing a great job too. She's some good touches on the block. She's swinging. She's making herself available. I think for freshmen, that's the toughest thing to do is to make yourself consistently available and she's doing that she saw the block that big junior who's a former all or she's a current all-american cut across her body that's great 23 22 jazz sweet hits it but she hits it out tied up at 23 all now michigan state with the serve and this is where anything can happen this is the big point right here there was no touch on that no <laughs> not even close Oh, Gibbs gets the ball over, out. but a service error. Ah. A service error at a point. You don't need it. So here we go. Match point. Cornhusker is an opportunity to end it here with the sweep. Michigan State an opportunity to tie it up, make it a win by two situation. If you're at home, stay glued to your TV screen for the next couple of seconds here. Cox will find the pass. Midget sets it up. Schwartz floats it in. Nebraska opportunity to finish here. Will they? No. Jamie Cox the dig. It's still alive and Bucks. Oh, get up there. Nope. Jamie Cox will find the ball again. Oh, that's a nice And an error by Midget will set up the Cornhuskers with the set three win. Spartans so close, yet so far from stealing a set away from Michigan State. Jen, your final thoughts. 